So we're back. Let's attempt Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. We're at McFarlane's Ranch. So what we'll do is firstly just check out the map. So we've got Paternal Pride, which is a bit of a side mission that we will not do just yet. We'll do that on the way back through, actually. But what we will do is continue on to the next U. So Seth's at the old Bacchus place. And Seth was a, a complete freak in the first game. So no doubt nothing's changed in this one. But we'll continue on and see what he's got to say for himself. Sorry, water's running into a couple of trees there. So here we are at the old backers place. And we'll see what Seth's up to. Seth! Seth, you okay? What's going on? Hi oh, there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, he's, a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? What's going on? We're playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives. Mothers eating sons. Graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo-hoo. Big tough John Marson is scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Oh. Folks! 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 Damn them, Pope's John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get him! Get him, Moses! Get him! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get him! Go! Yeah. Get him! Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead are risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't <laughs> natural. <laughs> Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me. Same as made Moses. Is there a cure? 
these things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. So that went virtually as expected. Um, Seth is he's just a freak. There's no other way to explain it. He's just a freak. So we'll continue on. So there's a couple of greys in New Austin that we're gonna clean out on Seth's advice. Which if you played the first game you'll know is always bogus anyway. So what we'll do Mark them up on the map, and we'll work our way back towards the first U anyway, so this will work out good. Alright, so we'll start here. So Moses, uh, as Seth pointed out, um, is his childhood friend. In the first game, there's some shenanigans going on about a treasure. Um, he had half the map, and um, Seth had the other half. Anyway, um, yeah. yeah. So, the side story in Red Dead Redemption, playing as John, was to help Seth recover that second half of the map. Yeah. In return for something, I don't quite remember what it was. So what we might do, just as we're going back through town, we'll head in here to Bonnie's old place, McFarlane Ranch. First hell walks the earth and you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarlane. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's playing around with them. Daddy, stop! Bit of denial going on there, I think. So come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. No. Funny. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. Will do. So looking for Drew, who's Bonnie's dad, just in the barn over here. And look, it's not hard to guess what's going to happen here. So just bear with me, pretty rusty, because we've got to climb up and go in the unconventional way. So I was never really good at this in the original game either.
memory serves me right, there should be a entrance over here somewhere. Sometimes I think I've been drunk. So there's a bit of an undead infestation in the barn. Put a few of them out from up here, might be a little bit safer. Okay, so we're going to share the bad news with Bonnie that uh, her father is now no more. On the bright side though, we've got a new gun, Winchester Repeater. She knows. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well? Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. So, completed the side quest, Paternal Pride. So what we'll do, we'll continue on uh, momentarily. We'll go ahead and cleanse these graveyards just down here in New Austin. Let's go! So we'll take a break right there, and um, we'll head to the graveyard. See you then.